Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now for a long time I've promised to do a little review and a little uh, show and tell about the Ankymatic system that we installed. Now this system is a fully automated windlass for the stern um, from boats, from small boats to quite large boats as well. We've been using this system for about a year and a half now to two years I think and we've not had many problems with it at all. Um, there's been one con remote control unit that we did replace but that was under warranty and the guys at Ankymatic were really quick to uh, provide advice on installing it and um, provided the unit as well so that was really good service basically from them. But uh, today we're going into a place called um, Skormarka Viken, uh, which is in Lordna in Stockholm, Sweden. And um, this is a, a classic anchor situation actually where we need to use a stern anchor going in towards the rocks up here. And yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll show you how it works. It really eliminates the stress, um, especially when you've got sort of a maybe a 35 foot plus boat and there's only two of you. It eliminates a lot of the stress coming in with a manual anchor system because with a manual anchor system you have to you know one of you needs to throw uh, throw the anchor off while the other one sort of runs up the front at the same time and it, it can become a little um, you know chaotic especially in uh, a little bit of wind this is exactly one of those situations where things got a little bit stressful as the wind took the bow of Aurora and I had to take control and stop the anchor line wrapping around the rudder or going underneath the boat. When the anchor has been set all night and been put under tension, it can be buried very deep into the mud. The trick is to back the boat over the anchor to pull the anchor in the other direction using the boat's weight to break the anchor out. However, you still end up lifting 15 kilos of anchor plus 8 kilos of chain in a very awkward position on this size of boat. I was also thinking if I got injured in any way, as strong as Tanya is, she would have a pretty hard time pulling that up. We did end up installing an anchor davit, which I reviewed in a previous video, which did make a massive difference. Of course, with this setup, you do have the option to use a winch as well, but when maneuvering, it would have been quite a tricky setup, so I usually ended up pulling it by hand. But now, guys, after installing the Ankermatic system, the difference is night and day. It's so much easier now. Let's go and have a look. So with this system, all I'm going to do is go towards the rocks, and as soon as I've uh, got the anchor system down and ready to go and on, all I'm going to do is push down, and then it will release the anchor system. As soon as I uh, get to a point where I know that the anchor line is at the right, um, the right length, I'll just push up, up once and the anchor system will lock, um, lock in place and you can go and sort everything else out and adjust everything from the remote control. So right now it looks like uh, we're just going to go and moor in somewhere alongside over there next to our friends. It should be a relatively easy process. So as you can see on the anchor davit itself, I've just installed a little rope with a little jammer there just to hold it up when not in use. And it's easy to let down just before you go in and lay the anchor. The rope also acts as a little bit of support as well for the davit, but it's not necessary. Okay, you need to go in at an angle yeah. towards Rickard. Yeah. There is a massive rock. Okay. okay? Yeah. So you need to go in this way. So the anchor should be over there. Chris, I'm just going to get the stairs down. The control panel lets you release, lock and winch in the line. The speed of the winch can also be configured and the length of the line laid out is also displayed. As standard, the winch comes with 60 meters, which is more than enough. Now right now you can see that I'm driving the boat with one hand and I've got the remote control in the other. And I'm just going to press a single button to release the anchor. Once released, the anchor will keep paying out until you press the up button to lock the clutch.
five meters, Chris. Hey, clap. Rope on land, Chris. Stop. And once the boat is stopped, all I have to do is press the up button and the clutch locks. Can you take the bow thruster and go there? Starboard. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Nay. So guys, well, that was kind of easy, but it's a bit of a tricky rock situation up at the front there, so... But the anchor thing was easy, and that's the important thing. And then the next day, when it's time to leave, this is where the windlass really comes into its own. It takes all of that back-breaking work out of the process. Oh, this is where I become a little mountain goat. So, one line's off. We can get on board. Come on. Reverse straight out. There's a rock down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. We usually always run this windlass with the engine running as the alternator will give the windlass a little bit more power, a little bit more umph to run. Of course you can run it without the engine running as well, especially if you're leaving early on in the morning for example and you don't want to disturb anyone, you can also slip out that way. One of the advantages to having the band system is that there's barely any water and any dirt coming into the boat when you wind it back in. The shot line system, which is common on a lot of boats in Sweden, brings in a lot of water into your lazarette. One of the other questions I had before buying this system was, how is this going to work without a chain attached to the anchor? The chain on the seabed typically takes away the snatch from the anchor itself, so it doesn't rip it out of the mud. With this system, the band is actually slightly stretchable so that it takes that snatch away and does exactly the same job. We haven't had many issues at all with anchors dragging with this system, even when we got broadsided by a 30 knot wind in an anchorage. That'll come later in the season, but it really held well. Okay, bye bye. As you can see, the anchor has just come up to its wash position, so you can drive out of the anchorage with the anchor dragging behind and it will wash all the mud off. By doing this, the Bruce anchor will automatically right itself. And when the anchor's clean, just press the up button one more time and it will come into the park position and lock. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope if you're looking for a stern windlass, this has really helped you answer a lot of those questions that I had when buying one. In full disclosure, we did get a discount from Anchormatic, but my review is honestly very unbiased. We really like this system. And of course, if you have any questions or have any comments, feel free to ask. Cheers, guys. See you next time.